So this morning, I'm on a little bit of a special mission. So I'm going to nick Debbie's car and I'm going to pop off and get something. But you won't, you won't, there won't be another, this is Sunday. You won't see the other end of this film now till next Sunday because keep your fingers crossed. I hope they're there. I'm going to have to travel a bit. I've seen them. So now I'm going to go and get them. We'll call them a them, shall we? Uh, we saw them. You've seen them in the film anyway. I'm going to go and see, hopefully, fingers crossed, they're there. I'm just going to pop off and get them. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue the film next weekend. Hmm. So let's go see if they're there first. So do you remember these from last week? I've come especially... <laughs> I've come especially to find them. Uh, another pair, batching pair. Cozy cottage, antique Bridge North Road. Lovely. So I've come to check out the price of these totes. All the totes are five quid each. Hmm, maybe I'd get them for four quid each if I buy them all the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven. 12, possibly 13 of them, 12 of them, 13, 14 of the totes to add to the rack. So if you want to sell something, do you sell it half full of these? I've got a rack and there are a few of these missing. Do you spend money to gain money or do you sell it as it is? <laughs> Question. Anyway, he wants a fiver each for them. So I'm sure if I buy a load of them i might get them for four quid each hmm. i don't think i've got enough battery in my um in my, my phone to do another tour so we'll do that another day but you did say to me if i buy 10 of them i can have them for four quid each so let's let's get back home and count them and uh, make a decision so i can hear you saying tubs totes what are you waffling on about reggie you idiot well these look I've got this rack, it's got to go, but it's only got one, two, three, four. It's only got four tubs on it. So do I sell it as is and tell the person where to go get the racks? Or I spoke to the bloke, he said, if you buy 10, he wants a fiver each for them. So do I, um, do I uh, sp uh, spend a, uh, I can get them, they're marked up at a fiver each. If I buy 10, I can get um, them for four quid each. Well, I'm sure I will. If I spend a bit more with something else, I could get them, but I need, oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I need 12 of them. So I'll get them for four quid each. Hmm, 12, 24, 36. So do I spend 36 quid and get the rest of these totes? Whatever you got there, all right? And these are the same tote, same tote. Or do I sell it as is and ask a different price? Or do I sell it at this price and tell the bloke where to get the rest from? Hmm, it's got to go. I've got no space for it. Um, or do I cut it up because, you know, there's this good thick angle iron. I mean, you know, what would you pay for some good lengths of angle iron? Should I just cut it up for its parts? You know, there's a, just cut that there and there and cut the, you know, you could make well used angle iron is such useful stuff. Hmm, so what would you do? And how much would you charge for it? I'm not very good at selling. I'm terrible at selling. The other thing is, you've got to move the damn thing. So basically, you've got to get a van to move it. It's, um, it's hip height. It's a bit over high hip height. And it's probably, what is it? Um, three or four foot long? Three or four foot high? Something like that? Yeah, so, hmm, shall I spend the money and get the rest of the tubs? Or shall I sell it as is? And will I get more or less? Or will I get my money back? 
make it more sellable hmm what do you think what do you think and and again what do you think it's worth what if i spend all that money and don't even get that for the price of the tubs that i paid for <laughs> do you know what they are they come along and they bloody knock you down don't they it's gotta be hmm, to the right person i think as is probably 50 quid say and then maybe put the rest of the tubs in I maybe charge a hundred quid, but would somebody be willing to pay a hundred quid? Hmm, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Always the same dilemma, isn't it? Do you add money to add value? Or do you sell it as it is? Or do you just give it to the scrap man and be to hang with having people around looking at it and messing and, you know, giving you an offer on it or coming along and I hate selling stuff. I really, really do. Here they are. Where's the other one? Oh, on the floor. On the floor. Right, so they're here. Uh, so I fetched them. Debbie's what? Have Willie, sir? Willie? Made in Western Germany. Yeah, we'll have a look in a minute. Hold on. Um, so, yeah, um, I fetched them. Debbie's washed them and Debbie will paint them. So, oh! so we did. <laughs> we, 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 there's no I in team. We are teamwork. I fetched them. And paid for them, gave them money out of my wallet for them, and uh, we're going to give one to Stephen. And um, Debbie's going to, uh, Debbie is washing them, and Debbie is, we are washing them and we are painting them. Alright? <laughs> Alright, Debbie, so there's no I in team. Where's the other one? On the floor. On the floor? We're on the floor. The oh, yeah, on the floor by the radiator. They've come up quite nice already. But they still want, they want painting. Oh yeah, we're going to ask Willie from Tools, Carriages and Modelling. Oh, put the light on. Put the light on. Have you seen this, Willie? Look at this. Have you been working on this today, Babby? What? Oh. oh, you've done the boots, haven't you? Yeah. I'm just about to. Oh, right. Um, but look, they're marked with the same marking. Come away from that. Made in Western, Western Germany. Hmm, there's no such thing as Western Germany anymore, is there? Is that before the Iron Curtain or after? And is he, is this a, is this a, a German gnome, a German character? Are these, is that a, a fairy tale huntsman? Well, yeah, you do a lot of hunting in Germany, don't you? Hmm. And is he a... Uh... Oh, mud might fall out of his bottom. Okay. Right. Anyway. Hmm. There was a there was a number on that other one. What was this one? Is there a number on this one? Yeah, six zero three five. Six zero three five. This, this is... one says Western Germany. The other one says West Germany. Oh, is it Western? It says Western Germany. Yeah. Made in Western Germany. Germany. The other one says West Germany. And what's the number on that? 6035. And what's the number on this one? There was a number on this one. Hold on. Be careful because it's... You wet. have a look. What is there a number on that? This one says... Um, Must be a... I'm trying to remember where it is. It's around the back oh. somewhere. Hold on. This one says... West Germany, 6022. Oh, West Germany. West Germany, 6022. Oh, so there must be a series of them. There is another two there. Go on then, move it But they're not a pair. Mmm. So does anybody know anything about these gnomes? Are they a... Uh, do you collect them? Are they collectible? We found the pennants for the wing. Ooh. That saved us 40 quid, but they do get bashed about. So um, Debbie's going to give them a wash and see how they stand up. But they're, you know, you can tell they're Sue Wing ones. And so, you, you know, they're not old, cheap and nasty ones. They're, they're handmade to, to what you want in whatever colour with your name on it. And it's proper thick quality, quality material. Hmm. So they last a long, long time. Not Some of these pennants you can buy, they flap about in the wind. And they're gone. 
so they get they get hammered but uh, these are lasting really well well they must be well they must be four years old already look and they're looking still looking really good what are we having oh we're having we're having the what are we having the studs the the, the closers on the jacket i'm not i'm not doing it the whole thing just it's too yeah. fiddly too fiddly we're nearly there we're nearly there so this is a video for julie Ju julie julie cole from debbie keeps telling me off so wing her company is called so wing and what we're thinking of um getting regy -E reggie deb and reggie on one side and on the other side something like uh Re um Reggie on the road and maybe YouTube or something. So, hmm, so that they match up when they're on the aerials. So this is a, this is a, a, a little film for Julie uh, of sewing here. Yeah. So this on one side with a Y, Reggie, Debbie and Reggie. Um, does the IE stay the same on you, Debbie? Do you want a Deb D A B B Y? Soon I don't spell my name D E B B Y. No, I want to change the name as how I spell my name. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Calm, yeah. calm down, calm down, calm down. All right. I'm asking you. Why can't you spell it? <laughs> um. By the way, what's your name? You've been around a while, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie the same, Reg R E G G Y. <laughs> and on the flip side of it, uh, whatever whatever fits, Reggie on the road or Reggie on the road, and then the YouTube um, logo or similar to the YouTube logo, something like that. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, I keep saying. What? Not so, so wing. So, S E W, wing, Wait, W I N G. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool, blimey, cool, blimey. Are you ready for a full review of the little man? <laughs> Gnome number one, shall we call him? Look, done the fingernails, done the end of the logs. A few flecks in the birds. He's got some gorgeous lips on him, hasn't he? Oh yeah, he got some gorgeous lips on him. See, you've got little painted fingernails there. Yeah, turn him round, Deb. Nice and steady. We burk, be beer, burr, burk on the beak, a beak on the bird. Yeah, let's see the eyes and the eyebrows. This is slightly different colour, different on the hair. We've come all the way around, look. We've done the boots, we've done the little bit of brown on the end of the log there. Then we've done the circle look. Um, these are the buckles or the poppers on his trousers. Um, here is the tree, you know. Sitting, we've got a few f green bits in the tree, haven't we? And we've done the end there, yeah, keep going. This is a leaf, look. I can notice you're doing we again. We, yeah. All right then, I put it. <laughs> no, Debbie, my wife has done this. Is that, is that better? Yes. Debbie, the wife. I don't like the wee. Her indoors. Her indoors they are. And Look. his name's Ernie. Uh, oh, Ernie. All right, Ern. What? What's the other one called? Bert. St Stevens is called Bert and Ernie. This is. This is Ernie of Bert and Ernie. I've just got to um, varnish him because I don't think the acrylic paint will be uh, waterproof. If we enough. just we just uh, off of Amazon sent off a whole load of acrylic. I mean, in somebody loads might of tubes. say it will be, but I don't think so. Uh, I and think you, a bit you get of you get the brushes with it, don't you? It's a whole kit. Um, I think it is. I can't remember. Your little tray and you get the little brushes. Are they waterproof? Do you wash them in water now? Yeah, I can wash them now. Simply in water. That's why I don't think it'll be um, very good. That's why, because I, I use the same paint on the slate. Um, so we're going to seal it in so varnish. I yeah. give it two coats of varnish and it seems to have worked. So we're going to seal it in varnish now. Hold on, Debbie's going to seal it in varnish. <laughs> 
It's too nice to put out there, isn't it? But where are you going to put it? The house isn't big enough. Who's not going to stay in the house? The eyes. We were. We were. The, the eyes are important. The eyes are. You know, were just spot on, weren't they? Yeah. Well. So there is a full review of. Remember, we went to the vintage shop, and we picked them up. Two of them. At a very, very reasonable price. And that's why I went back today to get another two. And this one, what did it say on it here? Yeah, this one is, let's have a closer look at that. This one is West Germany 6022. Can you see that? Yeah, West Germany. And the other one's slightly different. The other one says Western Germany and another number. Hmm. So, is he a particular character? Is he a particular German character or a particular German gnome, possibly? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, there he is. And Stephen's done one as well. And they've got another pair to do. <laughs> So, <laughs> I, I called Stephen to come over. I told him I got a present for him. And he said to Ellie, I bet you he bought a bloody gnome anyway. Stephen's had his now and I forgot to film it. So the next gnome to do, the next one to do is this one. With the doggy, there's more eyes. But look, I'll tell you what's sad. Look at this eye. Is this rabbit alive or dead? Because he's a hunter, look. There's his rifle. He's a, obviously a hunter. There's his glasses. Um, there's his dog is alive, but is this eye shut? Are these dead eyes? Is the rabbit alive or is the rabbit dead? Hmm, uh, interesting question. But this has got a lot more detail. The rabbit's got the detail in it. And the dog's got, this one's got way more detail in it. So this should be, this should be interesting. So it might take us a bit, a week or more to do. Oh, excuse me. Um, What's this? Oh yeah. Made in Western Germany and the number is 6035. Hmm. Or... Are we ruining it? Do the people that collect these sort of things want the original colour? Have we got to try and match the original colour? Or can we put our own colour on it? What is the... You know, some, the, the eyes are going to look. The eyes are already looked. The, the eyes are lasting a long time. Did you say there was a crack in this one, Deb? Oh, yeah, there is a slight, slight... Yeah, there's a tiny hairline crack down there. I don't know if you can see it. Hmm. But I mean, it's made of substantial, proper, good, solid plastic. It's, you know, plastic usually cracks and... But you see this, it's, it's quite heavy for, you know, something plastic. Hmm. So anyway, <laughs> that's the next one. Have we got to try and follow the same colours or can we just make it up as we go along? Well, and and I've I've got the I've given the one to Stephen now. So Stephen's got one. Oh, it's slight. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Has somebody already repaired it? This almost looks like it's already got filler on there of some sort, maybe. Or is that what they did in the factory? Hmm. But anyway, that's the next one. <laughs>